Let's, let's, yeah, I mean, what about a pussy grabber? What about a guy who, when you're rich, they let you do it? You sell his merchandise, so I know you don't care about that morality. You only care about this LGBTQ stuff. You just don't well, I care about kids. Grown people can do what they want to do. These are kids. This video is brought to you by Burst Gold, brought to you by Burst Gold. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in days away from the Durban Accords, the greatest threat to the U.S. dollar's global dominance in the past 80 years. On August the 22nd, BRICS Nation, which is Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, are expected to announce the launch of a new international super currency fully backed by gold or other commodities. This is part of the long-term plan to supplant the U.S., and the dollar as the cornerstones or as cornerstones of the global financial system. How can you protect your IRA or 401k from the fallout from this landmark announcement? You can diversify with gold from Burst Gold Group. Historically, gold has been uh, the safe haven in times of high uncertainty, which is what we're experiencing right now. Get a free information kit on gold IRAs and decide for yourself if a tax shelter retirement account backed by physical precious metals is right for you. Text the word Brandon to 989898. There is um, a monumental shift happening amongst nations that control one third of the world's GDP. And it's kicking off on August the 22nd. Arm yourself with information to protect your retirement savings. Text Brandon to the number 989898 and claim your free information kit from Birch Gold today. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get a notification anytime I go live. Make a video. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Let me go with Steven, who disagrees with me from San Diego, California. Steven, welcome to the show. Hey, Officer Tatum. Hey, I did uh, multiple <laughs> double takes um, during your uh, session here. I, I, I thought it was, it was quite outrageous. You said that you would prefer a 15 year old teenager in a cis straight relationship with an adult. Now, what the what, what make you think I said that? What did I? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. You Steven. know that you upload this your own the, stuff, this right? Is, you know we can review this. this. No, 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 hold on. Time do out. Do that to me. This is the. This is the stuff. It's my so, show, man. brother. This is my sto yeah. show. You uh, cannot. You I will pay enough? you a thousand dollars. I will pay you a thousand dollars. Everybody on the radio can hear me. I'll pay you a thousand dollars if you can go back and find a clip of me saying I prefer. Where did I say I prefer that? You said that it would pay you thousand dollars closer to your morality for a. No, it did. I did not say that. I said I said it'd be much closer to the evolution of humanity. Oh, to yeah, the evolution of humanity, like with the culture versus nature, like where we're at right now as a society and all that. I, you know, I know you know what you meant. You would prefer, you would prefer reading a story about this happening than reading a story about that happening. I never said That's that. You're you just making it up. I'll give you a thousand dollars if you can go back and play that. I said that. I didn't say uh -huh, it. Uh, that won't, you, won't you uh -huh. argue me on a real point? What's your point? Okay, here's here's a real point. Okay, nobody's trying to have sex with these kids, and it's not any public servant's responsibility to railroad kids into making these kind of decisions. They're not even able to do it until they're 14. It takes three years before they can finally get approved for that kind of process. Okay, let's 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 start here. If a kid was five years old and said that it was a boy, and he said, "I want to be a girl," what well, do you I'm think the California, parents? What, are, what would the parents do for that kid? What would the parents do for yeah. that kid? They probably think it was it was too early, and they probably say no. But they would transition That's him. They would let him wear girl clothes. They can't and have him live as a girl till he can do puberty blockers. Right or wrong? Fine. That's their choice, man. What That's did, what the kid wants. What, how do you know you what the kid like wants? He's five. Because you don't like it. Because you don't no, like because it. Because how? Does, okay. All right. Let's let's. Yeah, I mean, what about a pussy grabber? What about a guy who they when you're rich they let you do it? You sell his merchandise, so I know you don't care about that morality. You only care about this LGBTQ stuff. You just don't. Well, like I care them. about kids. Grown people can do what they want to do. These are kids, Stephen. Uh -huh. These are kids. These are children. They can't yeah, do. They can't, what other decision them. can a five year old make that nobody lasts forever? Them. What decision can a five year old make? Wait till they're seventeen before that can. Happen, no, but they're man. making a decision to live as a girl. That, that, does well, that not have any that effect? That Excuse me. They can't. They can't act on it that early. They got to wait till they're fourteen in my state, and it takes three years before they can get approved for that kind of procedure. I'm saying to live their lives a certain way. If you're five, your parents dress you up as a girl until they're ready to, to chemically castrate you. That's a difference. They shouldn't be able to what do, do that to kids okay, that young. The kid's asking. The kid's asking. Well, so I, if, I my kid, if my kid asks me to, if my kid asks me to carry a gun around, if my kid asks me to carry a gun mm -hmm. around, am I going to let them carry a gun around because they want to be in the military at five That'd years be old? A crime, sir. That would be a crime, sir. Well, it's a, it's a crime to sexually abuse your children. 
Yeah, nobody's sexually touching a child at five they're years fetishizing, old. They're fetishizing their children. That's, that's your opinion because, because quite frankly, you're being very outrageous. You, you told me before I've been superfluous. You're being quite superfluous today, sir. You're saying it's evil to fly an LGBTQ that's, flag during Pride Month at a, at a capital No, I said, I said in foreign embassies. I said on foreign, foreign embassies, embassies. It's a shame. It is a shame. To promote it's sexual shame. immorality, it's a shame. To, to include them, That's to bring my them to the table, to acknowledge that they exist. Well, who, uh, listen, when have we not acknowledged that gay people exist? Uh, you need to have a flag to acknowledge that they exist. We need a yeah, flag to, to acknowledge that people discharge. exist. We used to dishonorably discharge them from the military. We did. We did that, I believe, up until the seventies. Somebody can correct me if it's earlier or later than that. We because it was a mental illness. Discharge them. We still. People are still afraid to come out. There's been documentaries about it. There's been recent interviews about it. We got people who are sixty years old in the military that everyone knows in private they're gay. They've never come out. They've never come out because they're Why afraid they they're going to lose the their military? standing. Why do they need to come they out in the military? They want to. They want to be known. Why? Now, Why do you want to be known? Question. No, Why does anybody want to be known? I'm just... All right, let me ask you this question. Uh huh. Let's ask you. This, let me ask you this question. If a sure. person is a 20 year old man, and he's attracted to a 15 year old. Is that okay? No, sir. Why not? No, he should leave. He should leave that kid alone. It's not his job. He lo- he lo- you he love who you love, right? Kid. Well, no, no. I never made a case sexual? that you should fall around. I never. Can he be in a relationship and not? Can he be in a relationship with a 15 year old and not have sex? You can't have sex with that girl. He should not. No, be no, a not a sex. They just in a relationship. Does that make no, sense? You got to remember, that they dude, could be I in a relationship. I'm a teacher. I told you I'm a teacher. It's an adult's job to be a mentor. It's not an adult's job to be a partner with a child. It's not. And it shouldn't be an adult job to transition a kid either. When a kid cannot fully make a conscious decision about transitioning to being a, a, the opposite sex. Well, he man, do, that's, do you think that a do you think that a kid do you think that a kid understands look, fully? Okay. Do you think a kid understands fully what it means to be a woman at at, at 15? A, a boy, he knows what it's like to be a woman, and he can make that decision at 15 years old. Well, I know that I'm 35, and I don't know that I know what it's like to be a woman. So why would a 15-year-old know that? Well, because Hold the phone. I'll be back after the break. Considering- All right, I got a bunch of people calling in. I just want to address what Steven was saying, because a lot of times when I'm talking to somebody who's combative, they kind of talk over I'm, you know, I don't even know if I want to go back to it. I never said I prioritize or prefer a freaking uh, adult in a relationship with a kid. I said, if you go with the nature, the progression of human beings existence, you will see that it makes more sense in human development that people who hit puberty are eligible to have children, that people are having children with them. And so a 20 year old man and a 15 year old, is, it wasn't even a weird thing probably 20, 30 years ago. I would say more than that. Maybe like 50 years ago, 60 years ago. That wasn't a weird thing. Our society has progressed. People are living longer. And, and, and we are realizing that maturity between a 20-year-old and a 15-year-old is not balanced. And the balance is so far off that they believe that a 20-year-old would be manipulating a 15-year-old in order to be in a relationship, a sexual relationship. But when you talk about nurture, or just we just go off the fact that we are not humans of any type of moral perpetuity. I don't even know if that's a word. Moral standing. Let me just say that. I don't want to be making a word. So we're, we're not on morals. We're just animals operating off animal instincts. When do you think people will begin to have children? Probably when boys hit puberty and they're able and women and girls hit puberty and they're able just on evolutionary principle, people would be having children at like 13, 14, 15 years old. If you look at historically, go look at the Bible. People had wives that were 13 years old. And so when you look at that, I made the point that that was normal in humanity versus two men being together. Let me tell you why. If in humanity, and this is a hard conversation to have. People don't want to have this intellectual conversation because people get all weirded out. But I'm willing to have it because I'm B. Tatum. If you look at the history of the last 5,000 years of human beings, if if you have two men, just say you had a whole tribe of, of people who were all attracted to the same sex. All of a sudden, they woke up and they were attracted to the same sex. Where do you think that tribe would be today? Let me tell you. I'll tell you. I'll save you your mental brain power. They would be extinct, okay? If people were having sex when they hit puberty or they're a- able to bear children – 
and young men were able to produce children because they can develop, you know what, that you need to, to have children. And that occurred in a tribe. That tribe will still be alive today and probably have a lot of kids that have developed from that tribe. So all I'm saying is that if you look at it, the natural human, human existence, it makes more sense for that dynamic than for a dynamic of a man and a man, a woman and a woman. And before you can get a surgical transition, people couldn't even do transition at all. You could put a dress on, bro, but back then they didn't have stuff that you can stop your puberty. They didn't have medication for you to take hormone balance stuff to make you turn into a girl, hair, stop growing a beard. That stuff didn't exist 5,000 years ago. So this is what I would consider to be a new phenomenon that is – that we should not be treating as normalized and acceptable. I'm okay and I agree with the fact that adults and adolescents should not be in relationships. It's very clear. I agree to that. And I, but I also believe that homosexuality is a mental illness. And mental illness doesn't mean you're a bad person. Doesn't mean people shouldn't talk to you. You should be boycotted. It, it, it just means that something is going on in your mind that we should be addressing to help you live a better, more fulfilled life.